this that we need to rule on this earth we need to have a certain attitude in order to rule this world it will not rule itself you won't just find yourself ruling it without being determined to rule this, this world we need to have the attitude saying that we want to rule this world. I am similar to the scientists a little bit. There are certain things that I'm trying to translate that still have its own heavenly language. And I'm trying to give it an earthly language. I want this thing of God to be simple for us to be able to do it easily. But now it is still inscribed in the heavenly language. That's why Jesus asked, how can I compare the kingdom of heaven? To what can I compare it? Because that which is in heaven is not the same as that which is on earth. But I want to make it the same. But how can I compare it? A person, the way that a man has been created, they've been created through soil. Do you know soil? You see, when you see soil, we are just like that. Whenever you dump porridge, and you dump bread, and you spill water and juice, and you spill everything that is leftovers, weeds start to grow. As you see the way things are unfolding right now, when you watch television, they throw putu <laughs> or maize meal, <laughs> and they just throw but dirt. But they just throw dirt. And, insults, and, war, and they throw violence and hatred, then there are certain things that grow. That's what you see that is evident right now. The way that people are so violent and the way people are molesting others and the way people are involved in crime. Because when we watch television, the ones that are on television, there is something that they throw out through the screen and it lands into this soil. 
and when it enters into the soil, there is something that is automatically going to be produced from the soil. As you're seeing people behaving in a way that you've never seen before, it's because there are just certain things that are constantly being thrown at the soil. And the devil has got his things set up. And God has also given us his things. But the ones that grow more readily are the ones that are weeds. They even call it weeds. They should give it another name. Because weed grows automatically. But another painful, another painful truth that Jesus spoke once and a sower came and he threw his seed onto the, the soil. And when he's throwing his seed into the fields, when he wakes up in the morning, he wakes up in his weeds. But he did not plant weeds. He did not plant weeds. He cultivated the soil and he removed all the things that were not needed and he put fertilizer into the soil and then he placed the seed and the seed grew overnight. But when it grew, but now it grew alongside weeds. When he wakes up in the morning, his workers, they said there's also weeds. They said, can we remove the weeds? You know what he said? He said, no. He said, you will ruin things. You will ruin things. I know that you are farmers. I know that you are harvesters. But whatever has grown overnight, it's not like the one that you are used to. But it is exactly the same as that which I have planted. It is exactly the same. So, so please don't do anything. Please just continue to water it. And just tell yourself. But that you are watering whatever it is that I have planted. Even though you are watering the weeds as well. Even if the weeds are also growing, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. He said, don't do anything to it. Because if you want to uproot the weed, you will uproot that which is genuine. Then another saying came across that said, Leave it to grow as well as the weed. See, if you look at the church today, even the weeds are growing. Don't thou try to remove the weeds. Let the weeds grow as well. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. Leave it alone. You might be sitting in your seat next to weeds. <laughs> there are certain things that you will never be able to differentiate. There are many things that are replicas. Sometimes there will be thunder and then flowers will grow. Are the brethren with me? Please 
Yeah, but it's just feel like so. You see the time that we're in. Please don't waste so your time. So keep you cool. Taking out weeds. Le leave the weeds alone. So that it can grow with whatever is there. You are unable to discern between the genuine and the replica. Mrs. Kulu will know this. There's something called. The high what? Against Connie Fake. I'm lost the right word. Even if it's not the genuine thing. But in it not being the, the genuine thing. Too high what? High quality. It is high quality. A high fake. A high fake. It is a high. High fake. quality. It's a high quality fake. Ah, I'm not using the right right manner. Am I using the right word? <laughs> it's not sitting well. I'm saying the time that we are living in. There are always options. Yeah, original of the original and the replica. God does your fun, but they're exactly the same. It's only when you start using it for a long time, the one that is not genuine. It gets tired on the way as you're using it. It continues. But it does not have that endurance. That's why I am don't try to fix people in church. You will get tired. You will lose focus. You will get confused. You will lose direction. Because when you look back for the way, you will no longer see the star. Don't try to fix people. Even to fix your own life. It's still a problem even now. But now the matter lies here. People are trying to fix the people while they themselves are their own problem. Start with yourself. You can't now go onto your neighbor. When you are done with yourself, because every time you grow, you will see your wickedness. Then you'll see his grace. You have no time for the next person. Because the closer you get to him, the more you see his goodness, the more you see his grace, the more you see his love. And then that's what you release. Peace be with you. Are the brethren with you? So we are created. With you see whatever you see there in the dumps. In the dumps. <laughs> that which you see in the dumps, everything is there. Then automatically, the thing that grows there and the things that grow in the dumps, it is so full of life. It, is, it keeps producing more and more. That's what you're going to see on earth. As we, 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 will, we will see the believers replicating. But that is the truth that I'm speaking. The world is wicked. It is like a dump where everything is thrown in. We are also living in that dump. We are going to replicate the dump. Even where there is such a powerful stage, but there is salt of the earth. Where it is so wicked, there is the light of the world. The world is still going to get worse. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to say. The world is still going to get worse. As you see things happening. Because it is a dump. 
Nenwa bone lama movie lawa abizwa ati 2030 something 2060 20 nwa bone guti ke avamsu guti ke a a a a ngole ganjan. Have you seen those future dystopian movies? Uh -huh. Everything is wilted and rotten. <laughs> but there on their name. I'm a building. They are tall buildings. They are highly advanced buildings. But when you look to your neighbor, it is a dump. It is a graveyard. But if you go across the trenches, it is the promised land. That's what's happening in the world. You see the people that make those movies? I think that they believe. they believe something that believers do not understand. That the more the years go by, the more the world gets worse and worse. Even though technology advances, the value of the world is going down. But through my teachings, I'm trying to prepare you. I'm going to keep changing perspectives so you can hear this. Maybe one day you'll understand it when I'm no longer here. Because I know that it is true. Remember what I said at the beginning? I said I don't yet have the vocabulary to explain what's coming. But there is something that I'm going to use to give you some kind of sense that the world is like a dump. They said when they were sowing, they saw even the weeds growing. They wanted to remove the weeds. Then the king said, the owner said, do not remove the weeds. Let it grow with the weeds. You see right now, we are growing with weeds. Don't be amazed if a brethren turns on you out of nowhere. It's not because they are doing it automatically. It's growing with the weeds. You see, even within you, there is weeds within you. Let me try and zoom in and say that you yourself have your own weeds so that you can understand. Let me not just generalize it and then we pray. Within you, when you watch television, as you are watching it, there are weeds being thrown at you. You will laugh along with it, but inside your spirit will alarm and say you are laughing. You are laughing at death. When you see people laughing, but there are weeds being thrown out, then a situation will come one day that will raise the weeds that are in you, and you will be surprised and be surprised I, like this. I didn't know that I was like this. And the weeds will rise within you. Jesus once told Peter, like you, as you've been with me for three years, you have weeds within you. And he said, no, that is not real. And he said, you will see the weeds rising. You will deny me three times. And Peter said, I will never, Jesus. I will never deny you. Wherever you die, I will die. Where you are imprisoned, I will be imprisoned. What? But because Jesus does not argue with fools, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it that way, but it's the truth. You can't, as a leader, someone who knows you better and you argue with them, that's a fool. A wise person would say, it's all right, help me, Lord. Help me to not deny it and not deny that you will deny them. Say, help me, Lord, that I will deny you. Stop arguing with the, the leader. Even when you dream your dreams, and you wake up saying in the yes, morning, the you know what you're going to say? Say, Lord, help me so that this will not become no, 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 man. Because you've seen yourself slip. You know you don't have the power. 
you're using the power while you are getting up from the ground. So you have to say, Lord, help me. I don't want this to become a reality. But if it is your will, I said there are certain things I'm trying to get the vocabulary to explain them to you. Because right now we don't just want to see your emotion in the church, we want to transform your mind. Even if you don't have the opportunities to go and preach, today, tomorrow I might not be able to preach anymore, but there is something that I would have planted or stoned in you, and it's in you. It's a good thing that we're not just planting it in you, but also in your social media. If you didn't hear me clearly, you can go back home and listen again. Enter into YouTube and listen again. Those have come to train you. Don't think as I'm preaching all the time that I want to do it all the time. It is a job. I have to release this thing that has been placed in me and I need to release it unto you. I also want to be able to sit like you and listen. That I also want to sit and listen to whoever speaking. God But now he said, Feed my land. Care for my land. Lead my land. So I'm responsible because I will answer one day. That I came, that the lambs came hungry, what did I do? Do you hear me, brethren? Yes. So, Peter has been told nicely and plainly that you will deny there are, there are weeds in your body. Peter said, never. I will never Jesus. I'm a believer. I the way that I'm dressed. I am a believer. And what happened there? The situation came that revealed the weeds. And the suspenseful music started playing. And he said, you are not Jesus. And he said, I do not know that Leave me alone. And he went away. Then another came up to him and said, he said, you look like him. You're dressed like him. You are one of his disciples. He has another one. And he said, I don't know that person. And he ran away. He's now forgotten that he denied Jesus saying that he will deny him. He was, it was said that you will deny him three times. He started to warm himself on the fire. Then our lady came this time. But you. And he said, when? You. When? You. When? When? You. When? You. 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 you were with Jesus. You are just like him. You speak like him. You are from Galilee. He said, I don't know that person. He said, and she said, no, I know you. I said, my arm was lifted by your Jesus. You were leading the procession. And, she, and he insulted her <laughs> with such a big swivel, and the weeds were revealed. And they came out. And the weeds revealed themselves. And when they revealed themselves, I think it was, and at that moment, they looked lock eyes with Jesus. And he remembered that I'm so wicked, I denied Jesus. And he wept. He didn't weep, weep before people that know him. He cried in the corner in front of the people that accused him that he was with Jesus. And he said, I'm sorry, Jesus. I have weeds within me. Remove these weeds from me. And that's the day that it was removed. And when the weeds were removed, and it also removed the sword that he was always carrying. I'd rather use the, the sword to, to cut off the head of the son of the priest. Do you remember? How do you cut someone's ear off? All of that is weeds.
what I'm saying? He saw that you see there is. You hear this? I'm living by the mercy of this man. He remembered that this man once said, He said while he was praying for me, He said, I'm still going to fall. And he said, Once I'm falling, and once I get back up, I must strengthen my brothers. How? Is there so much oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus knows that you're going to fall. Please walk with the mentality that you're still going to fall. That attitude will help you to be able to get back up. But now you, you say that you are full of the Lord. You are full of the Lord. So once you fall, that doesn't fall. That's why it's going to be hard for you. Jehovah Shalom, we worship you.